This is your daily briefing and you are most welcome to it. We're going to start with Football Insider who um, absolutely gone down the pan. It was it was feasible. There was some plausible stuff that they put out when they first started going. But now they're just scraping the barrel and somebody needs to take them to a task. Perhaps an aggregator could do that. It's not my business. But putting out headlines like this based on uh, rumours, suggestions that didn't even come from anyone decent nobody made a compelling argument for this but they've picked it up and run with it anyway and it's no sh no shame uh, uh, being exhibited here whatsoever sources Tottenham pull plug on huge Tanganga deal after Nuno U-turn and the suggestion here um, is that before the Manchester City game um, Nuno had some premonitions or something come to him and he thought to himself no I won't send Tanganga on loan to deepest darkest Turkey I will keep him here and it's designed for people who aren't too bright to click on it then factor in that he had an outstanding game against City and then say to themselves oh yeah well Nuno yeah he got that right didn't he none of this happened none of this happened absolute uh, fiction all of this um, I don't believe that the Tottenham would plan on loaning a player to Turkey. It's like lo loaning a player to a side in China or, or the MLS. It just doesn't make any sense. Um, I don't think it would help the career de development of the kid. It would be almost deemed as some sort of a punishment. I don't no offence to Turkey or the Turkish people, but, you know, when has that ever happened? I just think this is nonsense. Um, and so anyway, Football Insider, don't use them. Terrible. Tottenham Hotspur are close to making Colliari an offer worth 30 million for Inter target Nahitan Nandez, which went a lot better than it did yesterday. This, according to Italian broadcaster Sky Sport Italia, who report that the English club are preparing an offer to take the Uruguayan midfielder on a 10 million pay loan with a purchase obligation of a further 20, which is clearly the pattern now which makes life a lot more affordable um, for purchasing clubs and gives them a little bit of kind of, you know, get to know me sort of thing. Um, this has come out now. And I hope for the, this is like the third time of asking, and I hope the penny drops and this particular quote can be aggregated so people stop posting absolute piffle. There's a part of me that cannot compute with the neediness of reporters to impress people with, with stories that are just defunct, that aren't happening. Lauro Martinez, he's not leaving Inter, that's it. His agent again has said, Latoro wants to stay at Inter. He trusts the project and he wants to win. I'll meet with the Inter board on Wednesday to talk about his contract situation. Premier League clubs wanted him, but he's ready to say. And he told that to FC Inter News. Still even, I think as recently as yesterday, there were people, you see, just on social media accounts, sports accounts saying, oh, Tottenham is still working hard on Martinez. It, it, that, that's made up. Again, more fiction. Stop it. Um, I'll save that for the end because that's really funny. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Tottenham transfer um, Nikola Milinkovic. Um, the target confirmed as a target after West Ham pull out of race. But Fiorentina wants more than 15 million. Tottenham chief Fabio Paratici has a good relationship with the Serbians club Fiorentina. And having secured the sign of Federico Chiesa from them from Juventus last year, according to Alfredo Di Pedula, Spurs are willing to pay more than the 12.7 million that West Ham had been offering. Um, everybody and his wife has been mumbling that we're in the market for another centre back. I can see this as being a relatively legitimate story. Just how good this guy is at 12.7 million or 15 million, which is apparently what Spurs are prepared to go to, is anybody's guess. I think that we can't kid ourselves here and there's a lot of fingers in the ears, blah, 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 I can't hear you. Um, you, you know, he's 23, which is a bit more promising than, you know, the 20 year old we got in Brian Gill. Um, but this business of, you know, we're going to get, we've got two new centre backs. Romero is only going to be as good as he can be if he's surrounded by good players. Um, but that said, Eric Dyer didn't have a disastrous game against City. Sanchez appears to have snap woken up from his horrible dream or coma that he was in um, and you know happier times could be ahead um, 
Atletico Madrid's attempts to sign Fiorentina striker Dusan Vlahovic have hit a dead end. And this now is, uh, I mean, I'm going to do some clips for you later on this afternoon that you can go through. Well, they're not so much as clips, but I'm going to show you the, sh the shooting positions, which make a case, a compelling case, for um, Dusan being a tap-in merchant. A goal is a goal is a goal. I know I've told you that before, but I cannot help but feel that this striker, this Serbian, you know, super duper fellow, he's being, you know, lauded all over town, is too similar to Vicinius and too similar to Vincent Janssen in the way that he operates physically on the pitch. And it's a massive concern. Um, the evaluation for this player is now through the 50, is past the 51 million mark. Um, and Sky Sports Italia are saying that they, the, um, Atletico's valuation was 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 not only way off beam, but um, they also had problems with the agent Darko Ristic, which is a fantastic name, and Fiorentina have put Atletico off doing business. Um, the funny to leave you with, which I think is genuinely good, um, from Park Lane Block 40. I'll put that in the description because it's an account you should follow. He's absolutely on the mark all the time. Charlie Kane thought Yunus Kabul was a place in Afghanistan. That's it for the moment. Um, I'll be back a little bit later um, with some, some graphics and um, whatever you do, don't forget, keep it on them.